our YouTube dopes took too long last week, so this week I'm going to ask you questions and put you on the dop watch. All right, 15 seconds on the clock. First question, Mike Clay, give me your favorite buy low candidate. I'm going to go with Joe Mixon here, right? I mean, it's been a slow start to the season for sure, but this is a guy that last season played 60% of the snap. snaps, was a top 10 fantasy running back, averaged almost five yards per carry. I think we will get back on track once he's in, into full health and back to full health, and is, he's a huge part of this Bengals offense. Stop watch is done. All right, next question. Matthew Berry, your favorite buy low. Go. It's George Kettle, but 26% target share here. He was targeted on nearly 38% of his routes. Remember, he had two touchdowns called back in week one. My expectation is Kittle gets back on track. Your last chance to buy low is before this Sunday. Wow, you finished early. That's amazing. All right, enough. Next up, Mike Clay, give me your stay away guy and go. I'm going to go with Stephon Diggs. This guy right now not in the top 80 at wide receiver and pass routes, not in the top 65 in fantasy points. This guy only has three catches so far this season, and the Vikings are the run heaviest offense in the NFL. Only 10 pass attempts in week one and only None. Top watch is over. All right, and Matthew Berry, fewer stats. Go. Yeah, listen, Devontae Freeman makes me nervous here, right? So you think about this. He's only played on 56% of snaps so far. He's averaging 1.1 yards before first contact. He's being targeted on a career low 16% of snaps. Ito Smith is a thing. I'm nervous about Devontae Freeman. I don't think he returns. Stop watch, it's over. All right. right, let's go. Next one, Mike Clay, your favorite sell high. Go. It's got to be Josh Jacobs, seventh in fantasy points at running back right now, but 27th in expected fantasy points are OFP. Only two carries inside the 10, but he has two touchdowns on both of those runs. That's not going to keep up. And only one target so far. He's been on the field for about a third of their pass plays. It's not going to keep up. Stop watch! It's over! All right. Matthew Berry, you should be personally offended. You need to bring the speed better. All right, go! <laughs> Le'Veon Bell is my buy, my sell high candidate right now. Obviously, he's been great, but next four games after the bye week at Philadelphia versus Dallas versus New England at Jacksonville. It's a brutal schedule. He's played all 16 games only once in an NFL career. Sell high while he's sell selling watch, off over, five running Done. Back. RFL is almost done. Mike, give me a surprising breakout. Who is for real? Top watch, go. Mark Andrews I'm going with. He's the number one scoring tight end right now. Top three in targets, receptions, receiving yard touchdowns. I know there's concern about his snap counts, but he's 14th at tight end in pass route. So he's out there. He's getting the job done. He's caught all but one of his targets. A 30% target. Stop here. watch done. All Got right. That one in. Matthew Berry, go. Yeah, my breakout that I think is real. Thanks for the question set up there. Is Terry McLaurin of my Washington Redskins. He's played 89. You wasted five seconds just saying that. He's played 89% of snaps so far, Daniel. Washington sixth in pass percentage this year. He's the number one guy on a team that's going to be down and throwing a lot. Stop watch. Done. You're runner. out. That's going to do it for Stop Watch this week. That was awful. Yeah, it was bad. You guys suck. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. Remember to download the free ESPN Fantasy app. And for streaming sports and premium content like the Fantasy Show, be sure to subscribe to ESPN+.